Welcome back to Tesla Car World. Today we'll be looking at the latest news about Tesla, including the return of the all-new Model Y and Model 3 at a cheaper price than ever in the U.S. New details for the product project producing cheap electric vehicles worth 25 grand at a new factory and mass production plans Cybertruck was discovered at Giga Texas, a location that's currently attracting a lot of attention from fans and notable information about the benefits that buyers receive when participating in Tesla's electric vehicle market. How would these super impressive plans affect customers in the US EV market? Join us and find out the latest news in today's episode of Tesla Car World, where we talk about everything Tesla. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ring the bell so you won't miss out on any of our exciting videos in the future. Now, let's get started. Despite the great challenges in the development of the electric vehicle industry, difficulties in battery materials over the past time, Tesla seems to be still rising in the storm of the EV market. It's especially shown through the huge sales of Model 3 and Y, the EVs that are highly practical for the current and future generations. So, how has the price of Model 3 and Model Y changed in the U.S. market? In the fourth quarter of this year, Tesla appears to have moved to boost production and boost vehicle sales of the mid-size of crossover Model Y and Model 3 sedan in the United States. Tesla set the price of the new Tesla Model Y RWD on its official U.S. website at $43,990. Interestingly, it qualifies for a $7,500 federal tax credit, after which a base Tesla Model Y RWD can cost an all-time low of $36,490. For the long-range variant, pricing now starts at $48,500 compared to $55,000 from previous quarters, and the Model Y performance is now priced at $52,500 down from $54,500. The price cut on the Model Y seems to have a good reason, as we don't see any changes to the designer battery, which is a good sign that Tesla's production line is gradually improving and the cost of raw materials on the market is also gradually showing signs of cooling down. Furthermore, talking about more affordable prices, we can see positive changes in the price of Model 3 starting from quarter 4, 2023. Tesla's reduced the Model 3 RWD in performance by $1,250. The Model 3 RWD now starts at $39,000, down from $40,250. The Model 3 Long Range saw its price drop from $47,250 to $46,000. What's more special happens with the performance variant, where we can see the biggest price cut with a 2250 price cut. Model 3 performance now starts at 51000 down from $53,250. While the rest of the world is now starting to use the Model 3 Highland variant, which is available in European and Asian markets, before the Model 3 hits the roads of North America, Tesla seems to want to offer a price completely lower than Elon's wishes since 2016, when he promised that the Model 3 would cost $35,000. So far, we can buy it for less than $30,000 when factoring in tax incentives and the fuel economy of electric vehicles. Recent price cuts will make the Model 3 and Model Y more attractive consumers in the U.S. in the fourth quarter. This is most likely to happen as both the Model 3 and Model Y qualify for the $7,500 Inflation Reduction Act federal tax credit for qualified buyers. In states like Colorado, other incentives could push prices down even further for the two best-selling all-electric vehicles. Tesla's decision to cut prices is hardly a sign that product quality has changed along with price declines, but that's a long-term strategy. In its efforts to accelerate the adoption of electric vehicles and sustainable energy, Tesla faces the challenge of increasing its market share. Although Tesla's products are exceptional, they need to be more accessible to the masses. So price reduction is part of the equation that needs to be solved so that Tesla can easily carry out its mission. From the beginning of 2023 until the beginning of fourth quarter, the price of the Model 3 has decreased by about 17% since the beginning of the year, while the Model Y, the model at the top of the electric vehicle sales, has decreased by more than 26%. Just after the Model Y all-wheel drive variant was removed from the market, Tesla brought back the Model Y RWD version at a more affordable price. We know that the Model Y is manufactured in Giga Texas using 4680 cells for its structural battery pack, So Tesla may be facing a shortage of these cells. The shortage could be due to two reasons. Increased demand for these cells due to production of the Cybertruck release candidate at Giga Texas, or Tesla's upgrading the 4680 cells from the existing first generation or next. What benefits are Tesla customers getting from the manufacturer? In addition to incentives from Tesla by cutting production costs, one of the main reasons why the cost of owning a Tesla car in the U.S. market is increasingly cheaper is the application of federal tax incentives after purchasing an EV. 
The U.S. government has expanded the electric vehicle tax credit program and access to those credits to help consumers take advantage of cost savings as quickly as possible. New guidance from the U.S. Department of Treasury and IRS aims to reduce costs for consumers who benefit from the Disinflationary Reduction Act by providing EV credits on new and used electric vehicle purchases. It seems the government's responded to consumer complaints that rebates need to be applied immediately when we buy a new car, instead of waiting for a credit that can be applied to taxes on the year after your purchase. This allows consumers to get a new clean car credit of up to $7,500 or $4,000 credit for a used Tesla electric vehicle at an auto dealership. And the best part is that it's effective on the 1st of January, 2024. The Internal Revenue Service and the government appear to be more focused on streamlining this process as part of their commitment to improving services, giving people a new perspective on the new phase of the clean energy revolution. Additionally, a new agreement between Tesla and Hilton, a popular hotel chain, will make electric vehicle charging much easier for travelers to access. Approximately 2,000 locations will be installed at the Hilton in the United States, Canada, and Mexico with a total of 20,000 Tesla Universal Wall Connector chargers. This not only increases cooperation between companies, but also encourages Tesla owners and even other car manufacturers to have more access to chargers when traveling to travel destinations in the future, as an adapter will allow any electric vehicle to fully charge its battery. According to a survey of 5,400 adults in early this year, the results showed more than 50% of votes cited the lack of charging infrastructure as the main reason people don't buy electric vehicles. Because this will provide an efficient solution to make long trips with fewer stops. Tesla's effort in the recent decades showed that they not only simply produce many electric cars, but also bring users interesting experiences in terms of travel distance and reasonable charging stops. To follow up the series of news is the production plan of the affordable car that promises to be the springboard to enhance Tesla's position on the market. So, how's the plan to build an affordable $25,000 car going? One of the expected plans for Tesla has chosen Mexico as the production location for its affordable car model in early 2023. The new factory was built in Nuevo León, Mexico in March. Since then, the company's done a lot of on-site work to begin construction. Tesla appears to be considering building a larger factory than originally planned and is still developing design, architectural, and engineering plans. At the same time, the federal government expects to issue an environmental permit to Tesla in the last quarter of this year. This will allow the manufacturer to begin building the factory. The facility in Nuevo León will play a key role in Tesla's new generation of electric vehicles. As confirmed by Nuevo León Governor Samuel García Sepúlveda, a designated area outside Monterey will be home to Tesla's $25,000 compact car production line in order to maintain the original agreement and demonstrate a firm commitment to this project. Giga Mexico is expected to be nearly seven square miles larger than the company's main Giga factory in Giga, Texas. One of Tesla's efforts in this plan is to ask the government to ensure the construction and reconstruction of energy, water, road, and rail infrastructure around the area. This plan is still being negotiated by both sides to make a final decision to open infrastructure at the Giga Factory Mexico location, so there is a delay in starting construction. Additionally, Nuevo León's economy minister, Ivan Rivas, said the federal government is expected to issue an environmental permit to Tesla in November 2023, and that production of the low-cost EV will begin earlier with expected dates in either 2026 or 27. Before this new model suitable for the electric vehicle market in the U.S. appeared, we still seem to be concerned about the hot delivery plan of Cybertrucks when its news and revelations were continuously discovered by the media. How is Cybertruck production planning going? An important news bit was discovered at the Giga Texas factory when hundreds of Cybertruck molds appeared near the Cybertruck production area. It was produced as part of the subsystem testing process that Tesla was conducting before when mass producing the Cybertruck. More specifically, Tesla seems to be testing the entire capacity of each subsystem during the Cybertruck production phase. First, the capacity of the front and rear molds, and then testing the ability to mass produce battery cells the most important part of an electric vehicle. Then there will be powertrain, body shell, etc. This development is even more relevant when looking back when we analyzed in the previous episode about the structural battery shipments at the factory. If this is any indication of how close Tesla is to production of the Cybertruck, it looks like delivery approval from EPA could come in the coming weeks. What's even more interesting is the fact that there are a lot of castings here around 400 to 500 units. These are probably surplus castings because when the warehouse inside the factory is filled with parts, then they can be placed on the outside like so. So, 
Tesla could ramp up the Cybertruck program quickly when there are enough separate parts produced by each subsystem and the final jobs just assembly and delivery. Production of the Tesla Cybertruck has been on the horizon for months as the company has launched early stage validation, public roads testing, crash assessments, and some of the best built Cybertruck units yet, all within the past few months. Deliveries is clearly approaching, especially since we can see the off-road testing plan will soon wrap up and Baja as Tesla has shared a video online on the X platform to see the Cybertruck's movement on the terrain in Baja, California, Mexico. When Elon Musk hinted in 2020 that the Cybertruck will unleash its capabilities in Baja with a sturdy and flexible air suspension system, making it comfortable to drive on the road with loads of varying towing weights, both to handle extreme off-road conditions as demonstrated by Tesla. Finally, after three years, it is actually here. The fit and finish of the Tesla Cybertruck has been a hotly debated topic even though there have been some prototypes that look good enough to reach customers. Furthermore, the fact that Tesla's official account shared the video could also be a good sign that the automaker is trying to create some more hype before deliveries begin. At the same time, the official profile of the Cybertruck operating on Elon Musk's X platform increasingly opens up new hopes for the Cybertruck's presence in Tesla's car collection. These insane things appear to signal that the Cybertruck delivery date is approaching. That's all the latest news from Tesla before the massive debate while waiting for impressive changes in the models. What do you think about these plans of Tesla? Let us know what you're thinking in the comments section down below. And if you had a blast watching this video, show us some love by smacking that like button, subscribing, spreading the word, and smashing that bell icon to get notified of more exciting episodes. Thank you so much. Until next time, stay safe and God bless.